I feel humans have an innate need to create to cope in large part with the human condition. I feel my role as a conservator is to maintain those objects for the artist and society as a whole. The work I do, of course, is first and foremost for the artist. We have a studio out in the country, um, outside of Columbia, in the Swansea area. My clients run the gamut from museums, universities, to private clients, really throughout the Southeast. When I was in art school, I was really interested in materials and techniques of painters, and I thought of painting conservation as a way to kind of study paintings and learn how they were made through examining and treating them. My father was a scientist, my brother's a scientist, and my grandfather was an artist and architect. So I always had an interest in objectively looking at things and you know, using the scientific method. And so conservation sort of fit into that interest as well. Restoration is primarily focusing on the aesthetics, making it look nicer. Whereas conservation is really more focused on the preservation of the original work of art, the process and the problem solving that you have in conservation that's very different than, than problem solving as a painter. Paintings have varnishes on them that discolored as they aged. So that makes a painting look dark and flat. A lot of times what I'm doing is removing grime, removing varnish. pH is important in, you know, to be aware of in cleaning paintings because you don't want to you know, damage the paint layer. Then of course I'm consolidating, you know, re-adhering loose paint, mending tears in many different ways, you know, re-stretching reframing, things like that. This painting has a very large tear through the sitter's face and numerous cracks from uh, the drying process of the paint over time. And so what I'm doing now is going in and in painting out just those cracks and just the losses in the torn area. Touching color where the damage is. Yeah, it can be nerve-wracking at times. Um, always worried about causing damage is uh, stressful. It's not something that one should do without training because it is a liability as well. The field is a very serious profession. It's not just um, something that's done in the back of a frame shop. And so you want to make sure when you're having somebody fix a tear, whether it's on a, a photograph or, you know, a, work of art on paper, maybe it's a document, or a portrait, that you do your research and really track down, you know, a conservator that is trained. What I like about my work is the problem solving and uh, the feeling of accomplishment when something has really come together. Conservation is about long-term preservation, and so it's very exciting to be part of, of that process of keeping things around for generations and generations to come. Yeah, try to leave as little a footprint as possible.